Hi, Michelle and Luann and Asha from Virginia. Diana from Fort Myers. Oh, and there you guys are. You can hear me. Yes, Michelle, you can hear me. Awesome. So there's about seven people that are in. And I'm going to move my computer to put it where I can see you guys. Now look, I'm not very good about this. So I can't like work and teach and read the comments at the same time. So Matt's here and so is Madeline. So if someone has a question, they will ask it to me and when I pause for a moment. But welcome to our in-house video lab slash our house. <laughs> This is Nicole Peterson and Matt Peterson and Madeline Peterson, my mother-in-law, and our three dogs that are all by my feet, you know, because they can't be too far from me at any moment. But my name is Nicole Peterson, and I am the owner, designer, custodian, I always say, at Picket Fence Studios. You guys might have taken classes from me before when I was um, teaching on the road under my company called Nicole Peterson Designs. Oh, I see there are a few people that are still on, that are coming on. I don't know, if it's being weird, but that's Facebook for you, so. Oh, wait. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. It is, what time? Eight minutes after five. I like to start at five, but we'll get started now. So again, guys, my name is Nicole Peterson, and I'm the owner of Picket Fence Studios. My husband is here. His name is Matt Peterson, and our three poodles are at my feet, and we are going to get started by, this is our first live, our company is like three and a half years old, but we've never done a live that showed a new release just because of, you know, whatever reason, but this is our first time that we are going live on our community page and not any other place. So the very first thing I have to say is everybody, because this is our first live on our community page, we want to give everybody a little gift. So all orders placed between 5 and midnight central time is going to receive this gift, which is a $5 value in their order. So you don't have to even place this in your order. The shipping department is going to know, they're gonna look at orders and all orders from five o'clock central to midnight tonight central are going to receive this set of clay, Christmas clay for free. So they're like to put in shakers or you can use them to put on your cards, almost like sequins, but they're made out of clay. So you will get this free. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have some new products coming out. Where's the bags of the paper bags? Oh. So we have some new products, obviously, since today's release day, that have come out today. And what I wanna start with is I wanna talk about, we have released a brand new ombre. So this is the new ombre for this month. It is called Grass Greens. And these are the three colors. Now, when you order this from our website, you receive it in this cute little bag like this. It's green. And it's going to have Grass Greens A, B, and C. And this is the ombre of our greens. Now guys, these are all new formulas. <laughs> now, my employees don't really like that very much because we <laughs> we've been releasing so many new recipes lately of things, but it's very exciting. So this month we have three new greens. These are ombre. These are not, are, they are not repeated in any other um, set of ombres ever, nor are these um, sold individually. So these are brand new recipes for greens. And when you order from our site, they come like this. Then I'm gonna show you also last month, we released two other ombres. We released one called Skies Blue and I'll just open it. 
and it comes in a cute little blue bag. So this is A, B, and C. Now, funny story, do you see C? C was a goofball, a mess up. But you know what? We embrace our mistakes. So we actually, um, C was a goof up and we just loved it. So we went with it. So these are your sky blues. It's a light blue, a medium blue, and then a skyish, darkish blue. And again, these are all brand new shades. You cannot, these are not repeated. They don't even have individual names, but they're not repeated in any type of open stock. Then we have our purple ombre. Now I know all my girls out there love purple. And purple also is going to come in a cute little bag. And we have A, B, and C. So these are the three purple ombres. We have A, B, and C. Now guys, C, I'm going to turn them like this. C is super, super dark, okay? This is like super pigmented. They're very, very shiny and sparkly. So you have three shades of purple. Okay, so all of this, these two, these, the purples are from last month. They were released in May, but this month we released the three grass greens. Okay, now when you look at the grass greens, I know when a lot of people hear the word ombre, we automatically think of three variations of the exact same shade, right? Well, we're not going to play it like that so much. We released the purples in three shades and the blues in three shades. But when it came to the greens, you know, the next shade that would go in with this one and this one, we already have that shade. So we already have a shade that could be a darker shade for A and B of the green ombres. So what we don't have is an olive green. So I decided we were going to have these three shades with an olive green. So when you look at these, you might not think, hmm, that's not like a perfect ombre, but it is. Because what happens is it gives you more contrast than you would get if you just used three shades of green. So let me show you this card. This is from one of my design team members. It doesn't have a name on the back. But as you can see on this card, you can see there's olive light and then dark green and what you can see this is one of our word topper dies that's new and then our little froggies that are stamps and dies this month let me get this closer so you can see that the olive really contrasts with the lighter and darker shades of green and to me that's what ombre is all about not necessarily three different shades well three different shades but three shades of green they could also just be three contrasting shades of green, not necessarily three greens that are all within that same hue of green. There you go. Now I'm making sense. Okay, so that's what our greens look like. But what I want to show you is, and of course I can't put my hands on it, but it's okay. It's, we'll find it. I want to show you a trick to using the greens, okay, or using any of our ombres. I did notice... <clears throat> the other day that when I was playing with them, when I was playing with them, and when I say the other day, this could have been, you know, two months ago, but when I was messing with the, these green ombres, I noticed that if I put them on and then I took a, put it all on and then took a, um, a scraper and then went like this over it, I basically, by, by rubbing it like this, created a fourth green shade of ombre. <laughs> So we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open these and I am going to start with the lightest shade of green. So I'm just gonna open this up and give it a little swirl. Try not to get anything on the edges. And I'm just going to take some out. And this, ha this does have pixie spray on the back of it so it shouldn't move. And I'm, instead of just trying to get it to come down in like a row of light, a row of medium and then dark, I'm just gonna come and place it like this because paper glaze is so forgiving and it's creamy and easy to use that by just placing it like this you're going to end up with and of course you know you want to use less not more because I'm bad about that right now I'm going to come with the darker shade of this same same shade if I can open it <laughs> and I'm going to give it a little whirl and then I'm not going to go on top of the light green. I'm just going to go next to it like this, just next to it. Of course, a little of it is going to overlap and that's okay. But instead of trying to come and just do a clean pass, 
because you don't want to do that. If you, that happens, what's going to end up, like I said, a fourth shade of ombre instead of, of the greens, instead of having different shades that look much more organic and real. Now I'm going to come and just add, let's push this around a little bit, trying not to blend it. You don't want to blend these. You want to leave it with contrasting. So here, you definitely can see I have light green and dark green, okay? Now I'm going to put my lids on because I do live in South Louisiana and we have, a, it's really hot here and we have a lot of humidity. Let me show you something. Do you guys see how there's a little bit of glaze right there on that lid? We do not want to leave it like that. We want to push that down to make sure that we don't end up with it drying on our lid. And I'm even going to take a baby wipe or two baby wipes. I can't ever get one out. And I'm just going to pass it right here on the edge just because I want to make sure that when I put my lid back on, I'm putting it on all the way, tightening it and making sure the outer lid is not dirty. Okay. Now let's go to the olive, which is technically B of the greens. Now I'm not going to clean that off. We're good. So I'm just going to take a little out and I'm going to come in and I'm going to fill in all the other places that don't already have the darker and the lighter green. Now, when you do this technique, you're probably not going to be able to put this back in the jar after of what's left on your stencil. And you, you gotta kinda hurry. I can actually see that some of my paper glaze is already starting to dry. But I do have a fan blowing on me, so that probably helps the drying process. So we're just gonna put this on. In all the places I do not already, now I'm gonna get some of this instead of more from the jar, that doesn't already have paper glaze on it. Okay, now you see I blended way too much right there. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm gonna go back with my light green now that I've tightened it so tight. And I'm going to come in and look, I'm gonna put some light green on top of this, a little bit of the darker, just be, especially down here where I over blended. I'm just gonna come put some light green in there. Cause I, goofed up and I blended because you know what do we always want to do right when we're doing work like this we always want to save what's left over well I did it I was over here telling you guys not to do it and I did it all right now I'm going to go back to yeah my jar's clean I'm going to go back to the C and just a, add a little bit of more contrasting of this darker green. And I am going directly into the jar without cleaning my um, palette knife, but that's just kind of how I roll. Okay. So now we have it looking nice and messy. If you guys can have a look. Isn't that just beautiful, Miss? Yeah. Closer. Closer? Would you like okay. to get the camera down? Yeah, probably. Okay, no, they got it now. So you see how beautiful that is? Ooh. Okay. So now I, I like to hold it in my hand and pull the stencil off in one quick move and then hand it to my lovely assistant to go wash it off. And then you can see how there's so much contrast now. Do you see that? Between the different colors. So I didn't take the spatula and try to um, get a nice smooth finish. I purposely left it nice and bumpy and lumpy so you could really see the contrast of the greens. All right, now I'm gonna put that to the side, but I need to put my lids on first. And we're gonna let that dry. 
that probably will be dry in less than 20 minutes. Mm, I don't know, they got some thick areas on there. Normally, if I had just put a normal layer and I was not rushing. All right, so what I wanna do now is I wanna introduce you guys to another brand new product other than the paper glaze. So we have another new product. I'm gonna use this card to show it to you. So this product is called Paper Glitz, okay? This is Paper Glitz, and it is an unbelievably super sparkly glaze. It is not Paper Glaze. It is honestly not like anything you have ever seen before. Well, okay, I've never seen this so sparkly before, I should say. It is incredible. So if you're looking at this card, what I did here is I first put a stencil down and then I used just cornflower blue paper glaze and then I took it and I took ink after the cornflower paper glaze was dry. I, bl I ink blended th different shades going down, but, and then I ended up with purple and then I let it dry. And then about a week later, I was looking at it going, ooh, I could put my stencil back on there and then come back with our brand new product, which is called Paper Glitz. Now, Paper Glitz, I'm gonna open it, and I stirred this this morning, so it should be nice and blended. So Paper Glitz is an unbelievable sparkly mix that's going to dry on anything you put it on. So I actually even have some of my fingernail right there from earlier today, and it dried on my fingernail. So what it is, it's super, super sparkly. And you can see it's not as thick as paper glaze, okay? And we did that on purpose. You don't want this to be super thick. You, you wanna use, with this product, less is more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little stir. But guys, this is like a good martini. You want to stir it, not shake. You do not wanna put air bubbles. Well, you never want to put air bubbles in any type of medium, any type of paint medium. But this will dry on anything you put it on, including your fingernails. So now that I've got it and I've stirred it up, you can see that it's this super incredible sparkly medium. Now, you're going to get, when you, when you purchase this, you get 1.9 ounces. And you might say, Nicole, why did you do 1.9 ounces? And that's because of jars, and we wanted to make sure that it didn't leak out. So 1.9, and I have been using this one for like three weeks, and I've got a whole lot left. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what Paper Glaze does. Now, I'm gonna show you a few things I've done first. Okay, so yes, the other day I was putting together a card, and I wanted to, I wanted to use all of the little um, dies that come with our slimline die cutting system insert and I because we have three of them that have trop other tropical themed so we have a mermaid we have the bottom of the ocean or an aquarium and then we have um, trees palm trees but they all come with these cute teeny tiny little dies and you know a you know, those kind of dyes get looked over sometimes. So I really wanted to use them with paper glitz and show you how economical it actually is to have the slimline die cutting system. So all these itty little bitties that I have right here, all I did was I picked out some cardstock. Okay, it could be from your scraps. Or I actually did whole sheets. And what I did is I made whole sheets and then I took my dies and I die cut tons of these teeny tiny little bitty pieces and I actually have the rest of them right here so I'm gonna make another card I was trying to do it today but so all of these are the extra leftover that I had and they are regular cardstock right you actually can probably even use the cheaper than regular cardstock and I just took them and painted the glitz on them now the reason why I can use these as shakers is because it's double-sided cardstock. 
Don't do what I did. The very first time I made my own shaker stuff out of teeny tiny dies, I used um, like one-sided paper. <laughs> well, you're not gonna want that in your shaker, right? Where they can see the back of your little pieces. So I covered all of these pieces of paper and I am gonna make another card with these. I used regular pieces of cardstock. Couldn't tell you what brand they are. I just file mine by color. And then I took all the teeny tiny little dies that come with the slimline die cutting insert, which I don't have in front of me. Do I have one? No. Okay. And so I took them and I laid them down. I took pieces of cardstock and I coated it with the glitz. Okay. Then I let it dry, and guys, this stuff dries super fast. Grab me a piece of cardstock, Matt, please. It doesn't matter what color. And this stuff dries super fast. It actually, it almost dries faster than paper glaze, to be honest with you. And all I did is I took it, and I took a piece of cardstock, which she's supposed to be bringing me. And then I grabbed one of these inexpensive sponges, okay? I really like using paper glaze with a sponge. And the reason why is because it's so super thin that you can really use a sponge to get in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pour a teeny tiny little bit onto my paper, just a little. I'm gonna put the lid back on it. And all I did was grab an inexpensive sponge and I just sponged it all over my paper. If you want, you could do in lines, but I kind of wanted it to be puffy, random looking, so I just took a sponge, and look guys, see this part? Oh, it's drying already. It's super fun, it's so fast drying. I really like how fast it dries. So I covered the whole piece of paper, and then I took the little pieces of these, and I put all the dies on it, and then ran it through my die cutting machine a couple of times, and filled it up and made a whole bunch of little shakers. And that was just, I made basically my own glitter paper with it, but, and you could do many different types and textures if you like. Then I took what was left of the paper and I used our, this one of the Slimline die cutting system. See these four right here, these four rectangles. And I just die cut them a whole bunch of times and then took the base of a Slimline die cut and laid down a card and look how super amazing gl glitter that is and what's cool is the whole jar only costs $6.99 that's it and if you wanted to water it down a little bit you can even water it down and put it inside a spray bottle yes a spray bottle so you can make you can use it to make your own mist all right now I want to show you something else we have this month. So we're gonna put the glitz to the side and I'm gonna come back to it in a minute. But what I wanna show you first is are the sequence and gems and clay mixes of this month. Oh, and for those of you that just are getting on, this is a free gift. So everyone who places an order from 5 p.m. to midnight tonight, inside your order, you're gonna have this free gift, okay? So uh, you, don't have to, you don't need a code, you don't need anything, this is just gonna be automatically put in your package. Just a little free gift for y'all coming and watching me and listening to me today. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's show, let's get back to what we're introducing for this month. Now, if you look at this card, you're going to see that this card has several new things on it. First, you're gonna notice this word right here. Do you see this word that says hello? This is a brand new product of ours. And if you, do you see how wide it is at the bottom? I used to call these word words on a stick when um, the, they came out for, at first a long time ago, other companies that had a thin, thin, thin little line at the bottom. And I always had issues getting it straight. So I was looking at dyes, looking at my dye collection, you know, months ago, and I just was wondering, gosh, you know, we have paper glaze, but I really wanted a dye that I could put down on top of paper glaze or like a mixed medium type card, but I still wanted to stamp. So I thought, wow, what if we made dies like this and they have a wider base to them, but we can have so much space that we can stamp on top of the word topper die. 
So this is one that I whipped up. Now this is the word hello. And I do have it on here, I think it's three times the thickness because I discovered that if I just laid it down um, by itself the first time without putting something on top of it, like doubling up the thickness, I kind of had it crooked. So if you look at phenomenal, and I know it, it's fine, I'm just you know nitpicking, but my P is a little crooked right here. And you know, when I was looking at it in my U, and when I was looking at it, I was like, golly, how can I, what trick can I do to make that, you know, straight? Well, that's what I did. I cut out three hellos and I just stacked them on top of each other and it really made a much nicer um, thickness to the tiny little words. Well, they're not tiny, but the thin words. So that way you could really keep them and put glue on the back of it and it would lay down straight on your card. This right here is a background that I made with um, the yellow daffodil and marigold orange. And then I blended those two together and then added paper glaze enhancer. If you have not played with paper glaze enhancer, guys, you're gonna miss out. And I'm gonna show you some tricks later. And everything, all these paper glaze and the paper glitz and the enhancer and anything else we come out with all plays well together, okay? That's my whole point. And when I design a line, I want it all to come together. I want you guys to be able to go back six months from now and pull product that you bought six, eight, two years ago from us and easily be able to add it into your designs that you just bought, right? It's all about building a good collection. So we have another special announcement. Other than our word topper dies, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, we have brand new mixes of sequins and clay, okay? I have been on the hunt and designing all types of new embellishments because you know what? What's a girl, you know, without jewelry or embellishments for her card, right? So I'm gonna show you our new mixes. So we have a new gem mix, which is called Polar Lights. Now, this is sealed. So all of our sequins come sealed. And actually our daughter, our youngest one, does this by hand. It just peels off. She scoop, scoops them all and puts them in our compacts and then seals them all with the tape. So in here, you're going to find different variations of gems and different sizes, three different sizes, and different variations and different colors, okay? Now, these you're not gonna be able to see very well right here, but they, this is on the website, and Matt did take a picture, a close-up picture, to let you see the exact colors of them. But we do have a new collection of gems. And guys, you might ask, you know, Nicole, your gems are kind of expensive. You know, I could just buy rhinestones at the local craft store, right? No, you can't. Because guys, these are the highest quality before you get to using Swarovski Crystal, okay? They are top notch, they're sourced, and I pick each color to make sure that they are top quality. So our gems are a good thing. I'm gonna hand this off to Matt so he can figure it out and close it. Then we have a sequence mix, another one. This is called City Lights, right, Michelle? Not City of Lights, City Lights. And this is basically, it looks like a hodgepodge gumbo of all types of different shades. They have teal and purples and pinks and golds and white and clear, all kinds of different sequins. And again, you can see a better picture of this on the website. Then, we have another sequence mix, and this is called Pot of Gold. And guys, these almost exactly match the green ombres, okay? <laughs> there's olive in here, there's a darker green, there's a lighter green, they have flat sequins and um, cupped sequins. So you can also see those, a clearer picture of them on our website. Now, let's look, and I have two with the same one, Let's look at another surprise. Now you guys might have seen these already, but these are our brand new sequins and clay mixes. So you might have seen clay embellishments in the past from, you know, on the internet or maybe in at, at a store or something. But we're going to do a new little twist to them, if you will. And what we're doing is I am mixing custom blends of clay and sequence, okay? Now that's what these are. Who knows what they're gonna be in the future? But this is called Fishy Wishes, right? Fishy Wishes? 
fishy wishes and they have these cute little clay fish in them and these white sprinkles and tons of clear sequins. So these are super, super cute and fun. And our design team did fab and made fabulous designs of them. So this is called Fishy Wishes. Take this. Um, we have another one called Croak. And you know, if you haven't noticed, we have looked at our um, release today. We have a whole lot of water and uh, frogs. So I thought it was appropriate for us to have a sequence and clay mix that had frogs in it. So here you have three types of clay. You have little eyeballs looking at you kind of cross-eyed. Then you have frogs. Then you have sequins. So there's green and white and black sequins in here. Then you have two colors of, um, of clay sprinkles and they're an olive, uh, sorry, are they yellow? I think there's three colors in here. There's dark green, yellow, and lime green. So this has got a whole fun green, black, white palette to it. Okay, I'm gonna hand this off. Now, this is the one that I had time to use. I will get to use all of them, but this is the one that I used, okay? And guys, there's some fabulous cards made with these. I used the one called Avocado Toast. Now, I spent a lot of time in California traveling around and teaching classes all over that state. So, a big thing on the wet, on the West Coast, if you haven't heard about this, it's, you know, it's called avocado toast, and it's meant to be a healthy um, type of snack or breakfast. So when I started looking at this and wanting to make a new kind of mix for you guys, I saw these cute little toast pieces. Look how cute. These little toast pieces, and I knew that one of the first things I wanted to do was make avocado toast. So these have pieces of toast. Are you watching the comments? They have eggs, there's eggs. Sorry, let me get it this way. So there's eggs, toast, and avocado slices. How cool is that, right? So if you were doing something with scrambled eggs, you could just do toast with scrambled eggs and don't put any avocado. Or you could do avocado with just toast. Or you could do egg, avocado, and toast. Or you can make yourself a little toast sandwich. <laughs> All kinds of fun things. And we have super, super cute examples of this. This is the one that I did. And actually, I got the idea of putting the avocados on the outside from my friend Angela, who's on our design team. She did a card using um, cooking, our, Im our large image from um, Cooking is Art. I think that's what it's called. And she put avocados on the outside of it. And I'm like, oh, what else do we have that's healthy? So I found our, um, this is called Drink Your Greens. And I decided not to color it because there's so many other colors going on. I didn't want to clash. However, I will tell you that when you look at this card, I did clear emboss. So all of my images are clear embossed. So I first stamped them in black ink, and then I uh, added clear embossing on. First I stamped them in black hybrid ink, our ink. Then I used stays, um, sorry, Versamark ink on top of it. Then I sprinkled it with uh, clear embossing powder from Wow. So this is all about eating healthy. Now, let me show you guys another little trick before I show you any more product. Here, babe, close this one before I spill. I want to show you what you can do with paper glaze enhancer, paper glitz, and ombres, okay? Now, I'm not really, if you haven't had, if you have not tried paper glaze enhancer, guys, this is, all of these I made up, the, I literally made these recipes myself, playing around with things in my studio, and I, you know, so when I say I love them, obviously, because I made them, right? <laughs> Are you watching the comments? Okay. So we have paper glaze enhancer, we have paper glaze, and then we have paper glitz. Now, let's talk about what paper glaze enhancer does. And when you get this jar, it might look like they have some missing out of it, but it doesn't. We purposely did that also because paper glaze enhancer is sold by the weight, not by volume. volume. So it is feels like 
it has no stickiness to it, okay? So if you really want it to stick to something, you have to like really make it. It's not clay. This is a super um, fun secret recipe that I made up. It's not texture paste, okay? It's nothing like texture paste. You can't really use it to build things. But what it does is it takes the pearlescent out of paper glaze. And you might say, Nicole, we love paper. Hey, go look on my desk and there's a little thing that has tons of backgrounds on it. You might say, Nicole, why would I want to take the pearlescent out of paper glaze? That's why I buy paper glaze, right? Because remember, paper glaze has that beautiful pearlescent color to it. Well, why not take a product you already have invested in and add a little, and this is very inexpensive, and you get uh, 2.5 ounces. How much is paper glaze enhancer? I think it's 2.5, but it by volume, it's a lot more. Okay, but how much does it cost? Uh, $9.99. Okay, $9.99. So you take a product, products that you've already invested in, and you can turn your paper glaze into a brand new product. So literally, by taking your paper glaze enhancer and mixing it with paper glaze, any color paper glaze, you are doing this. So I wanna show you. Now, if you look at this closely, you'll see that this no longer has a pearlescent to it. But what it does have is this feels like velvet, okay? It doesn't make it like puffy, but when you run your hand over this, it looks like crushed velvet, okay? Really, really, really fun, and you can see that I use different colors together. So this is one of the new stencils for this month, and gosh, I wish you guys could feel this. It's just so much fun. This is another card that my design team member, a design team member made, and she took the paper glaze enhancer and used it with different shades and made an ombre look with purple. This must be jade. There's many different colors. I'm not even gonna try to figure out the names. And what she did, and when you look at it, it gave her a totally different look. And then she took her paper and covered her paper with paper glitz. How cool is that? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. So I'm gonna grab a clean spatula. And look, let me give you a hint. When I mix things, I do it in one of these inexpensive plastic containers, okay? And the reason why, now you don't wanna store it in here. The reason why is this is very easy to stir. When it comes to buying a jar, and we do sell these jars individually, or in a pack, this does not let you, like, you can't really get in it, you know what I'm saying? It's much easier to mix it in here and then take this and store it in another place. So these, I wouldn't mix in these. I mix in these little plastic cups. So I'm going to take a big glob of paper glaze enhancer, okay? I'm gonna close my lid. Then I'm going to open Let's do a blue. I don't know why I'm all blue today. This is Ocean Poppy. This is an individual color. And I'm going to open Ocean Poppy, and I'm going to attempt to take out the same amount. So you want to use a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm not measuring it. I'm just like kind of eyeballing it saying, yeah, that looks about right. One-to-one -one ratio. Now, I'm going to take this, and I know these two are not new products, but I want to show you. And I'm just going to mix it up, okay? Now, the um, paper glaze is going to lose a little of its color, but it is not going to lose anything else. It'll still be very close to that shade, but paper glaze enhancer does dull the color a little bit. But look at that. I mean, now it looks like frosting. Literally looks like just unbelievably beautiful frosting. So this is what it looks like, okay, with the paper glaze enhancer, but Let's add some paper glitz to it, okay? So we're gonna take this, we took the pearlescent out of it, okay? Now we're gonna add some paper glitz to it. I am gonna clean my desk real quick because guys, this stuff dries so fast. So let me dry that off. And I'm not gonna stick this into my paper glaze. I'm gonna grab a spoon. So I'm gonna grab this. And literally, I'm just eyeballing it, okay? I'm gonna say, that's probably too much, about that much. Not a one-to-one -one ratio. I would say this is about a quarter of a ratio, okay? I'm put my lid on my paper glaze. I do have scratch paper around here, but I have put everything on top of it. And I'm just going to mix this together. 
okay? So now I have paper glaze, and I put paper glaze enhancer, and now I have put glitz into it. So I have taken my pearlescent paper glaze, made it matte and velvet looking with the paper glaze enhancer, and now I'm adding back a little sparkle to it, okay? It's not gonna add pearlescent, it's gonna add sparkle. Oh, thank you, darling. Yes, you always do want to work on top of something that is disposable. So let's go ahead and push this through a stencil. This is a another one of our new stencils this month, which I was really happy it finally got um, released because, you know, I have to look at some of these designs for six months to nine months sometimes, and I'm always like, oh, I can't wait till that gets released. So this finally got released. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna put it on the back of my spatula and I'm going to just pull this through a stencil. Okay, now, here, I'm, I am going to scrape it on. Now guys, this paper glaze and paper glaze enhancer and all these different mediums, the thickness is all up to you. It has nothing to do with what I think or what anybody else thinks. This is all about you and how thick you want to use it, okay? Now, I'm gonna try to show you this. But what's happened is, I have taken the paper glaze and turned it matte and velvety with the paper glaze enhancer. Then by adding the paper glitz to the mix, I've added sparkle back without the pearlescent. And it is just, it's amazing. It's amazing how you can take these inexpensive mediums and blend them together and come up with totally new um, mixed media or just card making in general elements. And that to me is all about what crafting is. You know, I crafted with my grandmother and my mom and my sister when I was a little girl. And you know, it wasn't always about going out and buying the latest and greatest. A lot of time we, times we were pulling stuff out you know, that we already owned and trying to figure out new ways to play with it and turn it into something else. So I have this left over and I'm going to take this after the show and I'm going to put it into an airtight container, okay? So I'm just gonna hand this off to Matt. Now what we're gonna do is, so this has some sparkle, so it has some um, sparkle or you could say glitter, if you will, in it. I'm gonna show it to you again. But you know, let's let's bring this up another notch because isn't that what it's all about, right? To me, crafting is all about playing around and experience. So I'm gonna take this, here I'm gonna hand this to him, and I'm gonna grab a, um, another sponge. And the lid of my paper glitz already has some paper glitz in it, so I'm just gonna steal it from there. And I'm gonna come and just pounce right on top of this, okay? Now, the reason I'm doing it in my lid is so I can clean it off after if I pick up any of that blue. But guys, paper glitz, this is called paper glitz sparkle. We will have other paper glitzes being released. However, this is our first one. And we have five new colors. Well, he just knows that it's five new colors. We do have five new colors coming out in July, and then we'll have more in August. So, and how many will we release all together? No clue. No clue whatsoever. I have no idea where paper glitz is going to end up. And to me, that's what it's all about. I'm gonna release colors of it until we have enough, right? So I'm just coming on and I'm adding this sparkle right on top of it. Now remember, I did mix some in and I could have just stopped there. But since this is live and I wanna show you all the possibilities of using, you know, I can't read the comments, of using the different, your different mediums with the new products. Don't make it where it rebounds. Okay. Let me close my lid. All right, so now I'm going to pull this off. And guys, I know I'm using slimline stencils. You can do all of this with 6x6 six six also. So here we go. Let's look at the, re the reveal. And, ah, oh, beautiful, if I do say so myself. Look at the texture, babe. 
It's really, guys, can you see all the texture? But remember, paper, glaze, and hands, are, it's not texture paste at all. <laughs> you can, if you like, you can take some paper, um, sorry, some texture paste and test it against the enhancer and you'll see totally different animals, a dog and a cat, two different things. All right, so this is gonna dry and put this over here. I'm gonna give him my stencil. Now I wanna show you something else. Okay, so remember if you've ever taken a class with me, you know that I believe in fixing your mistakes. So I want to show you something. This right here, this is a stencil from last year. It was one of our very first slimline stencils and it's called Radial. Now I meant it to be a gradual change like air waves, um, radio waves I mean. However, everybody else thought it was a spider web. So I'm like, okay, it can be a spider web too. But what, these have very, very thin lines. Do you see these, the stencil is very, very thin. It's very delicate and you really have to take your time to make sure you get it perfect. Well, when I did it, I was not perfect about it. I, I, get, I just me messed up. I got some of the paper glaze underneath the stencil. So this has just been sitting on my desk for probably over a year because I had mess, messed it up and you know, I, I am kind of a perfectionist, right? So yesterday I was looking at it and well, I was looking through the container and I saw this and I thought, huh, I wonder if I put paper glit on top of this if, I, if it, the paper glitz would hide the mistakes. And sure enough, it did. So I know you guys, when you look at this, you're, you're probably thinking, oh, Nicole, it's great. But it really wasn't before I used a sponge and went all, but I put the stencil back on exactly where it was before. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, this one I did not put the stencil back on. This one I just went over directly on top of it. Some other ones I did go and put the stencil back on top after some after it was dry, but this one I didn't. I just took paper glitz sparkle. And guys, this is paper glitz sparkle. I should be saying that paper glitz sparkle. The paper glitz sparkle and I just tapped it and then yesterday I literally just pushed it all over the top of this year old, year and a half old yeah, it was a year, was it a year, year and a half? It was, it's old, okay, <laughs> when I say old, it's pretty old just still sitting in my little box, right? And I saved it. Now, I can make a card out of it. I'm very, very, very excited, very happy. So here is our paper that we put our sparkle on, and guys, completely, utterly dry. Look, nothing coming off on my hands, nothing. It is completely dry, and now I have glitter paper right? Okay. I'm going to show you something else with paper glitz, our sparkle. This is a beautiful card from my lovely design team member and good friend, Michelle Lupton. Now, Michelle lives in Australia. So when I receive her cards, I always do a little happy dance because I just feel like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's from Michelle in Australia, right? So what she did is, let me try to get this. Can, can you help me, babe? So what she did is, Oh, there, I had it and I moved it. Okay, so she put our sun stencil on a piece of paper and then she ink blended it with red ink. Then she went back with the stencil still on and she added a little bit of the sparkle just on top of part of the stencil. So when you look at her, it looks like this, like she just has lights shining behind her. It's gorgeous. Now, she also used the paper glitz for eyeshadow. So right here, she has two extremely um, glitzy eyes. Super fun. So this also looks. She just used a teeny and got. You just used a teeny tiny little bit of it. Not much of it at all. Do you have something to say? So he's gonna to try to get you to, there, I'm terrible with lighting. Oh yeah, you just have, see, isn't he, he used to be a professional photographer, so he's much better at it than me. Okay, this is another one I wanted to show you. I did, did, did this today. This was another card that I had messed up on. So you see this fish background? This is actually, I was, think I was testing paper glaze enhancer at the time. And I had, when I laid it down and then I ran it through my die cutting machine, right here where this circle is, 
um, the tape ripped it. So the paper underneath this was white and the, it ripped the, um, the tape I put down ripped the paper. So I'm like, oh, great, now this is basically trash. But then I thought yesterday after I saved my beautiful radial, oh, let me test it and see how, if I can fix this one also. And sure enough, now, can you help me, babe? Um, now it has this extreme sparkle to it. There you go. He's so much better at it than me. And you can see that I just put the sparkle directly on top of it and I saved my card back. I was so excited. Are you, you want me to say something about that? Are you showing us this? So you guys see the texture? It's already drawing. All right, so again, if you're just coming on, my name is Nicole Peterson. This is my husband, Matt. We're the owners of Picket Fence Studios. And tonight, if you place your order between on our website, between 5 p.m. to midnight tonight, central, okay, you're going to get this free compact which is a $4.99 value of these beautiful little clay pieces. And I, it, it's like a Christmas. And we will not run out, okay? If we run out, I will make more, okay? We will not run out. So this is for you guys. It's a free little gift. This is me saying, us saying, thank you for coming watch us. Does anybody want into the group? Let me just check to make sure there's no one waiting. Oh, he's got it. Okay, I'll stop worrying about it. All right, what else do we have to show? I have so much stuff to show you. Um, this is drying. All right, let me go over, let me show you the release. Let's do dots first. I'm gonna show you that the release of for this month with dyes and stamps and not just the mediums. I know I get all excited about the art mediums. I'm, you know, I'm really a mixed media artist at heart. But I do love stamping and coloring and I love anything except sewing, I don't sew. Okay, this is a brand new category for us ladies and it is, they are called word topper dies. And I did give you a peek of this earlier with um, one of my cards and here's another one. This one is, I don't know whose card this is, there's no name. It is, this says, this is a paper hug. And then look, she used a stamp set that we have. Can you find the word topper stamp set? Then we have, I came out with a stamp set just for the word toppers that makes silly, fun, little, um, complete cards. So this is a word topper die. And I made them very, very thick. You can see how thick this is. I made it very, very thick so you guys could stamp on top of it. You know, I just think every card deserves a stamp, you know. <laughs> okay, so this one says congratulations, and these fit. Okay, so what they will do, this will fit an A2 card long ways. So here's an A2 card. So it will go across an A2 card long ways. It will go across an A2 card vertical and it will have a little chopping to do on the edges so you see if you put it on an a2 card going sideways you'll have a little chopping to do okay and guess what it also fits so you can use it this way where you have a little x it doesn't go all the way across but you can also use it going across a slimline card like this okay actually didn't this someone have one this, this slim, a card that has uh oh never mind, I can't find it so these this right here goes across a two cards vertical and horizontal and it'll go vertical across an um, a slimline card and you can also use it on a uh, horizontally on a slimline card also do you see what she did she just bookended with the little frogs all right, so let me show you. So, oh, this is Sarah's card that I was showing. She used the um, green ombre, and then she, she's so good with water. She put sequins to create water. Okay, so we have, congratulations. Oh, yes, thank you, that's what I was looking for. So here's, no, that's not what I was looking for. Anyway, here's, you are phenomenal on 
this card. Oh, what I did here to hide the fact that I didn't use it all the way across, I just made a strip. Oh, and I, this is from a stencil with um, the paper glitz. You can see how sparkly the paper glitz is. That's just it directly on paper through a stencil. And I used the sponge. You can use a palette knife. Just make sure you're using very, very little of the um, paper glitz when you push it through the palette knife, with put through the stencil with the palette knife. So what I did here is I laid the You Are Phenomenal down, and then I took a strip and just made it look like the die You Are Phenomenal goes all the way across a slim line card. Okay, so we have congratulations. We have I love your face. We have hello, which I showed you that one earlier. We have, this is a paper hug, because we always have to do this as a paper hug, right? I mean, come on. And then we have, you are phenomenal. Now, of course, we will have more of these coming out. They're called word topper dies. But we also have this stamp set. And this stamp set, I had a lot of fun. Lydia, my friend, and she also is our, works for us too. Um, we had so much fun with this. I mean, cracking up laughing just the whole day long on back and forth on text messages because of course you know I'm a little sarcastic if you know if you've bought my products before you know I'm always uh, trying to crack a laugh here or there have a good time so what it is these fit perfectly on top of the bottom piece of your word topper dies okay so you have um, like you this is a paper hug I will always love you forever and ever, okay? This is a paper hug, you make me happy. This is a paper hug, bonjour, ciao, aloha, shalom, konnichiwa, aloha. So you can say hello. This is a paper hug for being a great friend. So all of these work with almost all the word toppers. So you can say, this is a paper hug, you filthy animal. <laughs> this is a paper hug, um, uh, my friends, okay? Now we have more word topper dies coming out that these also match. So you're gonna have so much fun with these. You have, you are phenomenal, said tequila. I always have to put tequila in there. You are phenomenal. This is a hug on paper wrapped with kisses. Uh, you are phenomenal for being a great friend. You are phenomenal, you make me happy. You are phenomenal, have a fantastic day. Lots of different things. And then we have hello, and you could put said tequila. How about that one? Hello, you make me happy. Hello, um, you filthy animal. Hello, what was the question? So they go on and on and on. But the one that we cracked up on for hours, because we're goofy like that, is I love your face. Where is it? Even when it's on a mug shot. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Or you could say, I love your face, said tequila. I love your face, um, you filthy animal. I love your face. This is a hug on paper. So guys, all of what I'm trying to show is this stamp set right here matches all of the word toppers for this month. Plus, it also will match the rest of them that we're also releasing. So we have one coming out that says prayers, okay? So you could have it that says prayers, and then you could put in my thoughts and, well, sorry, you are on my mind and in my heart. Prayers, you are a blessing from above. Prayers, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will always love you. So they're all going to interchange and play together. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that everything you want to stamp on a word topper die is in this one stamp set. Absolutely not. But you can use lots of our other stamps, sentiments that you have in other stamp sets. This is one right here. I couldn't tell you what, I think this comes from, I couldn't tell you where it comes from. I think it might come from the frogs this month. Oh no, wait, no, it's this one. Huh, he just happens to have it. The, um, just because I love you actually comes from this one, which is called Listen for Joy. Okay, so enough about the word toppers. I know you guys listen to me ramble on. Let me show you the stamps and dies. For this month now oh my husband's fantastic he put the dies with the matching stamp so we have a pretty big stamp release okay so first I'm gonna show I'm gonna go through these I'm just gonna tell you some ideas of when I was designing why I um, put this collection together okay so we're gonna start off with listen for joy and um, if you haven't if you didn't know this picket fences studios color 
is green. And that's because I really truly believe that the best color in the world is green is, you know, a symbol of nature. And I love trees. Now that probably comes from my grandparents. My grandparents were um, extreme nature lovers and they planted every plant that can grow in South Louisiana. So I grew up, you know, playing in the yard and watching things grow. So this right here, this Listen for Joy, is meant to be a scene builder. So this right here goes perfectly across an A2 card, okay? Because that's what I do when I'm designing. I literally have a file saved on my computer and I pull up an A2 card front that I just, it's just a, a blank square, basically, that's that's the exact dimensions of an A2 card. And I use those dimensions on that, that file to size large images to make sure that they fit perfectly for your A2 cards, okay? So this is Listen for Joy. And then we have, it does not have a, a, a sorry, it does not have a die. And the reason why I didn't do a die for it is it's very actually easy to cut out if you want to fussy cut it. But also, this is kind of something you stamp in the background. So I didn't do a die for it. Okay, also we have drop by to say croak. We have these beautiful little froggies and guys, oh my gosh, my design team did amazing cards with these. Um, and they do have a matching die. Okay, this is dropping by to say croak. Then we have, let me just look through this real quick. That comes with, or it matches this right here. So this is called Pond Scenery, okay? And it has a matching die. And this was designed for you to play along with the frogs, okay? Do you see that? And then also, you already saw the, um, ah, where's that thing? Oh, here it is. You also saw the stencil that um, our lily pad. So we have a stencil, we have frogs, we have a pond, all the beautiful things, and the pond, the frogs have dyes. Okay, here you go. Then, oh, what, what, I don't know what this is. Okay, uh -uh. We're all good. Then we have, let me move all this aside. We have another theme going on with bicycles, okay? Now guys, this is an awesome little stamp. Again, perfectly sized for an A2 card, okay? It can go actually vertical or horizontal, your bike. And then also I did another, I did a four by four seamless design. Now, if you don't know about our seamless designs, seamless designs, they're four by four in size, but they actually are a continuous pattern. So you stamp it once, and then you move your stamp or your paper, and you stamp it again. And whatever is cut off on this side right here matches up here. So you just stamp, and you can stamp as many as you want, and it goes in all four directions. Okay, we have videos on this if you want to look at our YouTube channel. So that goes with our bike. Yeah, and we have a lot of seamless designs. This is kind of one of my little obsessions. It's just such a good value. This is only $10.99, $11.99. How much is this? Four by fours are $11.99. But guys, you get the image that you actually can stamp the image and use it. Plus, it makes it as large as you want. I mean, you can fill up a whole table if you wanted to continue stamping. So these go together. Then we have, where's the forest? Yeah. Oops, I forgot one. Okay, so then we have stopping by to say hey. So these are some new f uh, forest critters, and I am in love. Okay, we have goose, or you can call them ducks. We have hogs. We have mama hog, baby hog, or it can be daddy hog and baby hog. We have daddy deer, mama deer, baby deer, or it could whatever you want to call it. We have a fox because I love fox. We have two little squirrels. We have an owl. So all of this goes with the forest theme, right? We'll check this out. We also, and, and so this has a matching die. It also has the choice of a slimline tree die or an A2 tree die. The, uh, this is one of those things that honestly, I've been waiting for it to release so I can play with them. I'm so psyched about using these to create cards that just, you know, you can plop this in front of it. Any kind of little animal you can imagine, 
Oh, look at that. So simple. You can use some paper glaze on it or you can ink blend it or just cut it out. I know what I'm good for Halloween, which is next month we're releasing Halloween and Christmas. Do you see this? I'm going to be die cutting this out of black and I'm going to do something Halloween-y in the middle and this is going to be black. I'm probably going to put some sparkle glitz on it too, but I'm excited about this. So these all go together and then what else do we have? Oh, our mermaids. So then we have another collection of mermaids. I know I love mermaids. We did have mermaids come out in February of this year also, but we just couldn't get it all done in one time. So we also have a mermaid um, release this month also. So this is our deer collection. This is mermaid deer. And um, I know one of my design team used this and she did something with bubbles and the paper glitz. Beautiful. Hopefully Sarah finished it. It's gorgeous. So this is called mermaid deer and it has the matching dye with puffer, puffer fish. Then we have more mermaids. So when I was doing this, I literally could not stop because I have a fascination with the ocean and we have two more mermaid sets. So we have the mermaid set I did in February. We have the deer mermaid and then we have um, the mermaid set that is called a fishy lot. <laughs> So here guys, I went crazy with the mermaids. So here you have three fun mermaids, lots of little sea creatures. You have bubbles, if you wanna have them trailing. And look, a new whale. I discontinued the other whale that we had for like three years. And I got emails from people saying that that whale was their favorite whale. Well, here's a bigger one, girls, a big one. And look how big he is. He is big. So you, the, the these are the coordinating dies that go with these stamps and all of the little critters are in there also. So this is called a fishy lot. Now wait, but you also get more of a fishy lot. So all in all, there are four on here and three on here. There's seven new mermaids including, so there's eight new mermaids if you count mermaid deer. I know, I went a bit crazy. So here you have a mermaid sitting, on a rock you have, and look, you have a Poseidon, or if you don't want to call him Poseidon, you could just call him a merman. We have a fun dolphin. I'm excited about finding, having a dolphin friend, beautiful rainbow fish and octopus shells, and they come with coordinating dyes. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is called, this is all a fishy lot. So you have fishy lot and more of a fishy lot, but I couldn't stop there. Okay. I'm almost done with this. Just hold on. Another thing I have been wanting to do since before we opened, before we opened Pick a Fence Studios is I've been wanting to have a bottom of the ocean scene where I just stamp it and color it, okay? I didn't want to have to die cut a whole bunch of million pieces to create my own bottom of an ocean, which don't get me wrong, I love doing that also, but I really just wanted to have the bottom of an ocean where I can stamp it on paper, color it, and then focus on coloring and die cutting my fun mermaids and fish and whatever. So this is called, You Were, you were Mermaid For Me, okay? And this right here, the very top, this is water. So if you have, if you ink blend a background, let it dry, and then you could stamp this on top of it. So think of like, think of this whole back being blue. And at the very top of your card, you can stamp this where the water looks like it's at the top flowing, okay? Then you stamp this at the bottom of your card. Then in the middle of your card, you can put your creatures. You get it? So you can build upon it. So you don't need a die for this or this because this is meant to be at the bottom of your card and this water's meant to be at the top. And then you can put whatever you want in the middle of it. You get it? Okay, so these are some of my favorite um, sentiments. Beach, please. I've been wanting to use that for years. Flip flop and fantastic. I just love it. Um, out of all the fish in the sea, you were mermaid for me. Okay, so those are the mermaids. And then we, I think this is the last stamp. Yes, we have Scorpio Girl. Okay guys, I already showed you this in this beautiful, fantastic card that Michelle did. She has a die. We have released, this is the fourth, is it the fourth? Yeah, this is, or the fifth, I'm not sure. Um, of the, our horoscope girls, that's what they're called, horoscope girls. 
and they all have dyes now. Now, when we, the first month we did we did our release, we did not have dyes in stock at that time for those two first ones, but those are in stock. The one we released last month is in stock. We have all the dyes for all 12 of our um, horoscope girls, which we're gonna slowly release into 2022. Now next month is July, which is our Christmas and Halloween release. We're not, we're skipping that month. Next month we will not have a new horoscope girl, but don't worry, I've planned it way in advance where you could use your horoscope girl and still make those birthday cards for this year. So in our August release, we will pick back up with more um, horoscope girls. The guys, my design team had so much fun coloring her, this little hair and the sparkle, it was gorgeous. Okay. Now, I think we're almost done. Oh, I forgot a die. These are cat, ta cat, cat tails, excuse me. And this goes along with the frogs and the pond, okay? So my design team did a really good job of um, ink blending these. So your cat tails, you can use along with your pond scenery and your frogs or you know whatever you want to stick a mermaid in front of some cattails you do it whatever you like but all of the whole frog release the water release all go together okay so what do we have left um just a rundown of stencils okay so you guys have already seen the um sorry you guys saw the um what are these called lily pad stencil here it is the lily pads and again this was sitting on my wall this was sitting in the warehouse forever and every time i'd walk in i'm like i just want to play with that lily pad but i made us wait until the frogs were in all right so there's your lily pad and then you have this one is called slimline triangle peaks this is the one that we used earlier where's that thing with the texture it was drawing Oh, this is the one that we used here. And let's see, <gasps> it's dry. Yep. So this is what we use for this. I just love this one. It's very like um, floral, but kind of graphic in the triangle. Love it. And the sparkle looks so good. Okay. So that is this one. And then we have plaid. Okay. Now I love the plaid also. The plaid is the one that I used in these. Okay. So I use, this is paper glaze and that I use with paper glaze enhancer. And actually this is one that I wanted to use. I use green, pink, and white. And I added some paper glaze enhancer to the white. Came out really good. So that is this plaid. And this is called plaid one because we're gonna have more plaid coming out. Okay, so I think I've shown you everything. Have I shown everything? I think so. Did we come out with any um, some line die cutting inserts this month? She didn't bring them. Oh, well we did release some line die cutting inserts this month. However, I don't have them in my hands. No worries. You can see them on the, so we did release um, new, the um, inserts for the slimline line die cutting system. And huh, I think that's about it guys. Does anyone have, do y'all have questions? Questions, concerns, thoughts, dice thoughts. <laughs> what time is it? Ooh. All right. Well, guys, I really appreciate you hanging in with us this whole time. Um, I know this was a little chaotic. I apologize. It's difficult to have so many different things all over. We need to do a giveaway. So, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Everyone watching, comment. Okay. So everyone who's watching, be sure you comment at least once, okay? You can comment 20 times if you want. I'm all good. But make sure you comment one time because we're going to pick um, one winner from the, the comments on this feed. And look, there's only, there's less than 50 of you watching right now. So you have good odds. Next month, I make you a bet, it's probably going to have more and your odds are going to be less. So make sure you comment. So that way we make sure we give you, we pick you for a prize. And uh, we'll send them all three stencils. No, he just, we're gonna send you all three stencils and all the word topper dies. And we're gonna send you the stamp set that goes with the, so we're gonna send you the three stencils, the stamp that goes with the word topper dies, and the five word topper dies 
okay? So you're gonna get one, two, six, seven, eight, nine products. So there are five of these. So five word topper dies, all the word topper dies, the word topper die subtitles, and then the three stencils. So this is going to go to one person who makes a comment. It's like um, just under a hundred bucks. Yep, just under a hundred dollars. Also on our Instagram, we're also doing another giveaway where we took the release and broke it in down, in the whole release, and broke it down to three um, prizes. So go follow us on Instagram if you are not already. That way you can have another chance to win there too. So, and remember, we are going to give everyone who orders from 5 p.m. to midnight tonight this beautiful set of clay. And if you're listening and you already placed your order, send me an email at info at pfstance.com. And you know what? If you're watching this and you're still watching this an hour and 20 minutes later, you're going to get this in your package too. So if you've already ordered, don't worry about it. We're going to give this to you also. Just those of you that placed an order and are watching this at the same time. So shoot us an email and if your package has not mailed, hopefully already. I know she was sending some things out today. Mm. We'll, we'll announce, send you this. We'll announce the winner for the giveaway tonight. Tonight? No, no, no. For the, we'll announce the winner for this giveaway, the one uh -huh. I'm showing right now, uh, mm. tomorrow around lunchtime. I was going to say, he's going to be asleep in an hour. <laughs> so tomorrow around lunchtime. On the community page. On our community, on the Picket Fence Studios community page, we will post the winner of this, okay, of all this. And these will automatically be in your kit, uh, your package, um, if you order from 5 to midnight. If you already placed your order, it's okay. Just shoot us an email at picket, info at picket, sorry, info at pfstamps.com, and we will send this out to you also, okay? All right. What portion of paper glaze enhancer to paper glaze? Oh, um, I do, so the question is, what is the proportion of paper glaze enhancer to paper glaze? One to one ratio, a one to one. Now, if you're gonna add paper glitz to your um, paper glaze, okay, that's gonna be to taste, to be honest with you. This, this goes, guys, you do not need a lot of paper glit, paper glit sparkle to add to your paper glaze or your um, enhancer. But the amount you add, I'm not gonna give you a ratio for that. It is going to be less than one to one. It might be one um, paper glaze to half paper glitz because paper glitz goes a very long way. Any other questions? Uh, no, that's it, just uh, please share. Okay, well thank you guys. Um, we are going to save this video and Oh, and if you don't mind sharing the video and letting your friends know, we appreciate that also. Um, all right. Well, thanks for coming. Oh, today is our um, oldest daughter's birthday, so happy birthday, Jordan. We love